a small town in Miller County, Arkansas, there is said to be a creature that has roamed the forest outside town and has been known for killing chickens and livestock and mauling a number of dogs since the 1830s. The sightings of the creature increased in the 20th century and led to the movie The Legend of Boggy Creek being based on the sightings around Falk, Arkansas. Today we're going to take a look at the Falk Monster. The first reported sightings go all the way back to 1834 when people began to report a large hairy wild man was roaming around Arkansas. In the 1900s, sightings around Falk became more frequent, residents spotting the monster more than 40 times in 1997 alone. The Boggy Creek Monster has been the subject of at least four different films, beginning with 1973's The Legend of Boggy Creek. This movie, centered around Bobby Ford's supposed encounter with the beast, played in drive-in theaters around the country and introduced millions to the legend. The famous encounter that the film is based on occurred in 1971. Bobby and Elizabeth Ford claimed that the Boggy Creek Monster, also known as the Falk Monster, attacked their home late on the night of May 1st. The monster, Elizabeth said, reached through her screen window but was chased away by Bobby and Dan, his brother, who had just returned from a hunting trip. Unsatisfied, the monster returned shortly after midnight and tossed Bobby to the ground. Bobby was then taken to St. Michael Hospital in Texarkana and treated for large gashes across his back. He was suffering from mild shock when he arrived, according to newspaper reports. Although no traces of blood were found at the Ford's home, three-toed footprints were found near the house, and there were scratches on the porch and the siding and a window were both damaged. Various reports between 1971 and 1974 described the creature as being a large hominid-like creature covered in long dark fur, which was estimated to be about 7 feet tall and around 250 to 300 pounds. Later reports published during the 1980s claimed that it was far larger, with one report describing it as 10 feet tall and an estimated weight of over 800 pounds. Some accounts describe the Falk monster as running swiftly with a galloping gait and swinging its arms in a fashion similar to a monkey. Reports also describe it as having a terrible owner, the odor being described as a combination of a skunk and a wet dog, and as having bright red eyes about the size of silver dollars. Now let's take a look at some of the more notable sightings of the creature. In 1908, a woman is reported to have seen a creature fitting the description of the Falk monster when she was 10 years old. In 1955, a man saw a large, hairy, ape-like creature near his house on Boggy Creek. He shot at it 15 times with a rifle, but apparently missed. In 1955, an experienced hunter and trapper saw a large, gorilla-like creature while fishing in a river. It appeared to be washing its hands before it walked off on two legs into the trees. In 1965, a teenage boy encounters a hairy man or ape-like beast near a lake on his family's property. It was described as seven feet tall with reddish brown hair about four inches all over its body. It stood upright like a man, but it had extra long arms. As the thing approached, he fired at it with his shotgun three times and then ran away. In 1966, Smokey Crabtree reports that the alleged monster, on several occasions, approached his house at night, was heard screaming, or would disturb the dogs, although it never harmed any of the animals or people. In 2000, a coon hunter encounters a hairy creature of immense size late at night while hunting with his dog. It made a hissing sound and splashed water on the hunter while making a deep, throaty sound. In 2017, a truck driver was traveling south of Falk at approximately noon when he observed what appeared to be a large hair-covered animal in a clear-cut pipeline. The figure was moving upright on two legs in the clear-cut between a fence and a deer stand. As you can tell from the eyewitness accounts, they are pretty consistent with their descriptions of the creatures and some reputable people from the area were witnesses to the creatures all throughout the years of it being seen. The thing I found most interesting when I was reading the sightings is a lot of hunters and trappers, people that are experienced and spend a lot of time out in the woods, in the swamps, have claimed to see this creature. Now, these are people that know pretty much all the wildlife that's in this area. They know what a bear looks like. They know what a deer looks like. And they're still reporting this creature. So what are people seeing near Falk, Arkansas? Could it be a bear? Could it be mass hysteria and hallucinations? Or is there really a tall, aggressive creature that lurks in the darkness of the forest, watching hunters as they hunt, and stalking people in their homes and yards? You be the judge of that, but there's something strange going on in Falk, Arkansas.
Before we end today's video, I wanted to let you all know that there is currently a project going on to restore the original Legend of Boggy Creek movie. The film is currently being restored using 4K scanning technology for re-release re next year. The restored movie will premiere June 14, 2019 at the historic Parrot Theater in Texarkana, Texas for the first time since its original 1972 theatrical release. There will be a link to the Facebook page where you can keep up with all the information about the restoration and anything else Boggy Creek related in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And if you have any thoughts about The Legend of Boggy Creek or if you've seen a Bigfoot-like creature, let us know in the comments or feel free to message us. Have a great day, everyone.